Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I'm going to do basic R screening neurological examination and I will do the way I do for my patients but as I said it's the screening neurology exam. I will do separate videos for specific or directed neurology exam especially in patients for dementia or Parkinson's disease but what I'm going to do today is the basic exam and I'll show you how I do it on my patients. So what I do, I usually keep my tools on the side so I don't have to turn around or move around again and again to collect my tools. And then um, I will also try to do a separate lectures on the history of neurology tools. But once I examine a patient in clinical setting, I ask the patient to walk first and uh, we'll show you that. I'll do what I do on the couch. So I ask my patient to sit relaxed on the couch and then getting to patient's level, I start with the cranial nerve exam. Look at me, how many fingers you see. You're gonna keep focus on my nose and you're gonna tell me how many fingers you see. Two. Now, One. now, One. now. Two. And I always ask the patient in four quadrants, at least in one eye, how many fingers you see. Look at my finger, don't move your head, just move your eyes. Look here. Look here. Look up. And look down. So I move my finger in a smooth fashion because I'm also checking pursuit eye movements and if there is any nystagmus. So take a break when you get to the extreme of gaze before you move your finger again. After that, I usually ask my patient to lower your mask. Okay, show me your teeth. Take okay. it. Open your mouth. Say ah. ah. I look at the palate. Ah. Stick your tongue out. Okay. And at the same time, I ask the patient to look at my hand and I shine light in the eyes and look at the pupillary responses. Then I can check the Fifth nerve, it feels sharp? Does it feel sharp? It's the same on both sides. Okay. Move your arms out straight ahead. And close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. I look for the pronator drift and then open your eyes. With this finger, touch the tip of your nose and touch my finger. Do it please, with open eyes. Yeah. Touch my finger. Same with the left hand. Okay, now move your arms out like this, like the chicken wings, and move it up. Move it up, good. Move it like this, pull it towards you. And then push it out. And then open your fingers. Open up. Open your fingers. Okay, good. Now you're gonna move your right leg up. Up, 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 give me your best. Now move your left leg, move it up, 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 great. You can lower it down. Now you're gonna straighten your right leg. Okay, pull it back, straighten your left leg, pull it back. Now move your toes up, keep it up, 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 up. Okay, great. Then I check for the reflexes. Relax. Relax. Okay. So somebody may say that I need to expose to see at the muscles. 
Sure, I need to in a classical way, but if you tap the muscle and you already feel the contraction of the muscle, then you don't need to expose the patient, but it depends on your own comfort level. So by exposing, again, you look at the muscle belly and feel the tendon, and then you tap it, but make sure the patient is relaxed, okay? And you tap it and you feel the response and also see it as well. Same goes for the lower extremities. Keep your legs relaxed. I always feel the tendon and then tap it. And same goes for the other side. Okay, then I do the ankles and then I check for the plantar response. Okay, same goes for the other side. And again, because I felt the knee reflexes were somewhat diminished. So what I'm gonna say to the patient, keep your leg relaxed and I'm gonna take this out. Okay, and I'll check again. I feel it and I feel it again, okay? So this could be more of a technical issue. So always be careful. And then the vibration. Do you feel the vibration? Do you feel the vibration? So when you check vibration, try to give idea to the patient how does it feel like? Because many a time, patient never had this sensation before. So first try to do it either on the sternum or the hand. So patient has the idea and after that, you can check in the distal extremities, leg and feet. So we already checked the pinprick on the face. You feel it's sharp? It's sharp? Is it sharp? Is it sharp? So is it sharp in all four extremities? It, does it feel the same? Great. And here I end my neurology basic examination. It is simple, it has to be smooth, so it saves time. I hope you will like this video. Thank you very much.